I feel like a, a father on vacation should get some type of break from work. Hey, I you. Yesterday, Dale asked me how vacation has been for me. Vacation? Because it's not vacation, it's leave, technically. And it's been two things. It's been nice to hang out with the kids, and it's been nice to give Dale a lot of relief. But it doesn't feel like vacation. It just feels like I'm home. And she asked me what would... Uh, being on vacation feel like and I was like I, I don't know I don't know we're going to the children's museum so I'm sitting here thinking about Ivan and his not really feeling like he's on vacation because my first thought was well you got kids I mean little kids you know what I mean it's not going to be easy to have uh, a sense of you know vacation and being off as if you're going to be alone with all this, you know, free time to do what you want to do, how you want to do it, you know what I mean? But I do appreciate the fact that I get to sleep in, like, major. Every day. Every morning. Every. Every I'm morning. I'm pretty sure they can't see you. I'm talking about till 10, 1030. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. But I also like to say that you know i've been going on six months of constantly interrupted you know sleep you know what i mean with an infant shout out to crystal um shout out she, to crystal she made that point right yeah exactly i just owned it <laughs> my bad <laughs> but yeah shout out to crystal because she's she helped me in in realizing that because i was venting or complaining about the fact that um you know i just i just i was just feeling bad about it a little bit you know what I mean I just didn't understand why when Ivan is around all I want to do is sleep I mean that's sleeping in nap times you know all of that but anyways there's this idea that if you're on vacation you should be able to take like a break um, and really what I'm thinking of is when you know I, I stay home I'm home all day every day with the boys and when he's off, then I should be able to be off too. Like, how do you manage that? You know what I mean? That whole 24 seven feel of, you know, stay at home motherhood, you know, but go ahead. Yeah, it's just this idea that when you take off from work, you're not really off if you operate in a capacity into which where you relieve the, the mother who is the stay at home mom. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like a, a father on vacation it should get some type of break from work because it's like even though our work is different i'm still at work <laughs> you know what i mean it's like it's not like i'm just out there doing whatever and then i take a break from work to only have to be home and then be on the clock all day as well yeah i mean and I, I think that's i think that's what's tough because for me it's the same thing like you know you're you're now home it's like i feel like i need some relief as in i need some assistance i need it to now be 50 50 across the board all day um versus you know what you gonna do for your what you for your off time you know it's like well i'm still you know full-time uh parenting while you're what now i think the easier thing is the fact that you're an introvert and you don't have a need to be out and about mm -hmm. you know so um, we were thinking about for him maybe I could do what I always do which is take the boys and do what we're doing today which I do often anyways which is go to the children's museum which is like a almost a full day of him being able to be home alone what do you think about that? Um, I, I think there's a that would be cool but it's like I, I guess I push myself to the brink um, in some ways where it's kind of like I don't I don't take as many breaks because I feel like Dell is the priority as it relates to getting breaks. And not maliciously, so I just feel like, you know, her thing is constant. So what I'm ultimately getting is I would be fine if she didn't take the boys anywhere to give me a break during this entire whatever. You know, I mean, just even if I started to feel myself begin to struggle, I may speak on that, but for the most part, I just kind of like, you know, just dug it up. So that would be cool if you took the boys out to the Children's Museum um, without me. But I feel like I like to go and be with my family. So Yeah, I was thinking about that too. You know, oftentimes, like, we like we like being around each other, you know, so. Speak for yourself. I like being around the kids. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't saying that when he wants some. Hey, but, um, y'all got needs. <laughs> But you know, it's, it's for for me though. Like I need 
need straight up brakes. You know, like I don't get the brakes that you know he gets while even you know on your nine to five. You know, like I don't get to just go you know for a walk you know by myself and just have my thoughts to myself. You know, what I mean it's it's not as you know it's constant with you know being a stay at home mom. Um, I don't get to necessarily eat alone by myself. I don't necessarily get to what well, I don't. Yeah, I don't necessarily get to just kind of walk over to somebody else's office or somebody else's cubicle and, you know, have a nice adult casual conversation. You know, I don't have those privileges, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. I get it. I get that. But it's like, you're home. You're home. It's like, we have like the, we have pros and cons. To both. Yeah, to both. That's, that's just. Because yeah, I mean, I am home, but that's not always great. Like, you know, for me, I'm an, I'm an extrovert, you know, so I have a desire, I have a need to, to be around people and I love crowds and, you know, that type of stuff energizes me. You can hop in a car and go somewhere. I can Yeah, and yeah, but see, the thing is, I can hop in a car, but I have this, I have all of this luggage that I got to take with me. You know what I mean? It's not like. I'm just free by myself. So I was sitting here, we need to go get some food because we didn't eat the second time for the boys. Uh, we're going to Denny's. Yeah, so we're going to Denny's. No, what they say, Lenny's. No, Denny's. What, what is that? Who says that? That's a commercial with the old white ladies. You never saw that? No. The TV watcher guy, right? So, uh, <laughs> jackets or no? <laughs> I was sitting here for trying to process like really fast. Like we can go without jackets if you come out and warm up the car when we're done. Boom, I'm always about that. So this right here is a thing of beauty. See that? Fed four and a half people. Change of pace. We're going to the museum lab. Woo, windy. No, thank you. me to change their shirts. This is kind of loud. Let me record somewhere else. I love you. I love you. So even though they're here just playing and stuff like that, she was like, can you change their shirt since we're not doing the water play? And I'm like, why? They're at the children's museum. <laughs> they're playing. She's like, I want them to look decent wherever they go. <laughs> okay, whatever. So I changed the shirts, but I didn't care. Let's see if this one makes it. Gonna make it. Oh no! Hurry <laughs> 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 up, Jojo! Hurry up! Run, 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 run! Hey, I got the you! Die! 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 Die!